of wit. And how I love him. Christian, then, is witty? Ah, uh, yes, dear cousin, even wittier than you. <laughs> Makes me happy to admit it. No one alive can say such pretty things. So dexterously, so delicately is he. Sometimes, perhaps, his muse is at a loss. His fancy falters. And then, suddenly, he utters phrases, airy, winged words. Those little nothings which mean everything. So he talks with skill and subtlety? Talks? He does more than merely talk. He teaches. And does he write? Still better. Listen to this. The more you take away my heart, the more you leave to me. What do you think of that? Pooh. <laughs> and he writes in verse as well as prose. His hearts were made to join and not to part. If you steal mine, send me your own dear heart. At first he has too much, then not enough. Just how much heart will satisfy the man? <laughs> your teething is too rough. You're jealous. My what? You're jealous of another poet. One who can write with piercing tenderness. Believe me, my poor heart is but one cry. One note of longing that can never die. And if my silent kisses could be penned, you read my letter with your lips, sweet friend. That's good. That's very good. It's, well, it's very not so good. <laughs> Indeed. And this he writes with yet greater skill. You know his letters? Know them all by heart? Every last one. That's surely flattering. He is a master. Oh, a master? Yes. So be it. He's a master. De Guiche, he must not see you here. He might suspect. He might even guess. <gasps> my secret. He's powerful. He thinks he is in love with me. And if he knew my heart, he'd have us all in ruins. I was just going out. I came to say farewell. Where are you going? To war. Ah. Oh. Yes, tonight. Ah. Oh. Orders have arrived. We lay siege at Eris. Ah, oh, siege. <laughs> <laughs> this grieves me. Shall we ever meet again? And when? And did you know that I've been made captain of the entire camp? Bravo. Regiment of the guards? The guards? Yes. That one which your cousin, the loud boaster, serves. I shall revenge myself on him out there. The guards are going? It is my regiment. <coughs> is anything the matter? Yes, this departure cuts me to the heart to know that he, the one I care for most, is on his way to war. For the first time. And on the very day of my departure, you have a kind and tender word for me. Would you revenge yourself upon my cousin? But you are on his side. Oh, on the contrary. I'm against him. You think of him? Seldom. One sees him everywhere. In the company with the cadets, with what's his name, Nubilan Nubilier. <laughs> a tall man? Blonde. Red-headed. Rather handsome? Poop. And dumb. He looks it. But regarding Cyrano, do you think, perhaps, the way to punish him is to expose him? Place him in the thick of battle? That's the very thing he loves. I know a better way to break his pride. And that is? When the regiment departs, leave him and his cadets, his boon companions, right here in Paris, here with folded arms, make them sit out the war and let him rage. Oh, woman. <laughs> Only a woman could think of such a sly and subtle trick. He'll eat his heart out, and his angry friends will gnaw their nails for being left behind. They'll cry and curse, and you will be avenged. Listen, I shall be going with the camp, but 
Here are the marching orders. I will take them, but no. Wait. I will keep them. And, and then, I'll take them and keep them and then take them. Oh, there we go. Um, I will take them. Oh, yes, so much for Cyrano's very lust for battle. And it is you who outwit people, you. Sometimes. You drive me mad. Listen, tonight I should be going with the troops. But how? Thinking that you are kind, can I depart? Listen, not far off the Rue des Orleans, there is a cap... Uh, convent. Oh. A convent of the Capuchins. A layman dare not enter, but I know the fathers. Things can be arranged. They have long sleeves, and I can hide in them. Um, um, they wait on my uncle Richelieu as his household priests. Fearing the uncle, they will protect the nephew. I will come masked. But should it come to light, your glory would be utterly destroyed. Bah! And there's the siege of Earth you must lead. Let it wait, but let me stay. Alas, I should forbid it. No, you must go. Christian stays here. I know you will be a shining hero, Antoine. You pronounce the name and make it new. You like it then? A it little? makes me tremble. Good. Now I can go. Are you content? Ah, oh, yes, indeed. Ah, oh, yes, my friend. Ah, oh, yes, my friend. Don't breathe a word of this to Cyrano. He'd never pardon me for robbing him of his beloved boy. Cousin, we're going over to Clomont. Our Condre is to speak. I fear we shall not hear them. We'll never miss those educated motives. Let us go in. If Christian comes today, as I'm sure he will, ask him to stay. Christian, come here. <laughs> 